The white smoke poured from the Sistine Chapel chimney this afternoon as bells tolled over Vatican Square, announcing to the world the selection of a new pope. Good evening, everybody. I'm Victoria Hansen. And I'm Dean Stevens. A 76-year-old cardinal from Argentina is now Pope Francis I, the first pope from South America. Jorge Bergoglio was the Archbishop of Buenos Aires. He chose the name Francis after St. Francis, who was told by God to, quote, rebuild his church. Pope Francis I has been known for years as a humble man who denies himself the luxury some other cardinals may enjoy. He is said to cook for himself and could regularly be found visiting the slums of Buenos Aires. He's also been said to accuse fellow church leaders of hypocrisy, claiming they forget Jesus, ate with prostitutes. The new pope also says he considers social outreach to be essential to the church. Argentinian, but with an Italian name. And uh, this is something that uh, makes it a, a bridge between the worlds. And, um, and I think that, that makes it easier for both sides uh, to, to have a new world pope. This is a very big deal. And the new pope wore a simple white robe in his first appearance above St. Peter's Square. Well, here in Charleston, a traditional ceremony at the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. <laughs> Bells rang out and yellow bunting was hung from the doors to celebrate the election of the new pope. Now, the color yellow is significant because it is the color of bunting hung around the Holy See. The Holy See is the Episcopal jurisdiction of the Catholic Church in Rome. All right, and joining us uh, right now uh, from Charleston is uh, Father Jeff Kirby. Thanks for being here with the diocese in town. First of all, your impressions of what happened today. Amazing, uh, surprising, a surprise. A lot of firsts, amazing. Now you were there eight years ago when uh, Benedict uh, was elected. Uh, talk about the feeling of being in the middle of everybody as a new pope enters. Yes, well, what an excitement, exciting time. Just the euphoria, the excitement, just wow, this is really happening. This is something that's a part of history. We get to be a part of this. So not only those who are in St. Peter's Square, but also just all of us. And, and of course, that was the experience today. It's just, wow, this, this is really happening. With that white smoke, and we realize it's white, it's white, it's white. And suddenly, oh, this is a great, we're gonna see a new Pope. Share your knowledge, what you shared with me earlier about the humility of this man. Well, he took the name Francis, of course, Francis of Assisi, who was told to rebuild the church, but was known for his humility, really reformed the church by humility. And, uh, it's said of Pope Francis that he eats his, cooks his own food. He takes public transportation in Buenos Aires and in parts of the city, he's just known as Father Jorge. He's not addressed by his formal titles, even as Archbishop, but simply Father Jorge, a man who really has a heart for the poor. And you said he cried during the conclave, why? Well, there was a rumor that said that in the last conclave in 05, when Pope uh, Benedict was elected, that uh, Jorge Borgoglio was the second. And the rumors were that he cried as the voting was very similar and he said, please don't elect me Pope. And um, so to the degree that that might be true, we see here that uh, of course now he is Pope. What would be his first order of business with the church? Well, he's got a lot of work to do. <laughs> One thing that he brings is that love for the poor and for humility. He also is a keen administrator. The work that he did in Buenos Aires in regards to administration and bureaucracy is gonna be essential. Just realigning some things, um, bringing some things back in focus. This is about Jesus Christ. All this is about preaching the Christian message and allowing people, men and women, to hear that message. Father Kirby, appreciate your time today. My pleasure. Victoria?